Hey. 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 I don't know how to work this thing. <laughs> no, right. No, hey, true. Hey, so you go by Cass or a, or a soul sister? Oh, soul sister has been dead for like seven years. <laughs> My name is Cassandra, so I'll go with Cass for now. <laughs> but you can refer to me as soul sister for this purpose. Nah, fact. Listen, man. I do want to say, listen. Like you are very beautiful. So, 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 so. Like I can see why Monty would have been lied. You feel me, bro? Well, like thank you. you know. Well, thank you. <laughs> no facts it's here. So, oh, look, people are feeling you. Uh, so, Godson said that he remembers you from back then. Oh, really? Well, hello. Hopefully, you were one of the nice ones to me. That would be. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Didn't have too many, that's for sure. I know, man. Listen, they uh, terrorize you. Okay, so GMO said, mm, okay, listen, man, the fellas are feeling uh, Kaz. Uh, so, Alan okay. the building. <laughs> All right. Here, man, so, so Kaz, so, like, just tell me more about you. So, um, well, one, so, are you from Philly, or where are you from? I'm from Philly, yeah, but I haven't lived in Philly for the past 10 years. Um, oh, wow. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I live in New England. I won't say exactly where, yeah, yeah, because I don't know who might who might pop up on this thing. But yeah, I live in New England now. So yeah. now the fact, yeah, so, uh, Philly, always a Philly girl. Hey, so I actually was like born, what well, I'm born, but so I was born in Liberia, but uh, I was raised in Philly since like since since the age of three. Well, not really Philly, like Philly oh wow, so, like right yeah, on so, uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Nah, nah, facts. Wait, uh, you were from what, Southwest? Or where were you from? I'm from Germantown, Brickyard. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Philly, Philly, for real. <laughs> Whoa, what the bro? Listen, your Germantown females don't play, though, man. Yeah, we don't, but, you know, I was raised in a very loving, caring, nurturing family, so... You know, even though I can be a little crazy deep down inside, you know, I'm still just a regular woman. But I will do what I got to do when I need to do it. So now you thanks me here. So okay, so let's fast forward, right? So when did you start your YouTube channel? So first of all, I didn't even know I was gonna start a YouTube channel. What happened uh -huh. was how all of us got even in each other's radar is because we all had a personal vendetta, I guess, against Tommy Sotomayor. <laughs> uh <-huh>. So, <laughs> so I used to be in the comments section of people's videos, and there was this woman named Jeannie Burlesque who hated Tommy very, very much, and she thought everybody was him and under a troll account. Mm. So she kept accusing me, even though I was against him, she kept accusing me of being Tommy himself. So I finally was like, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm gonna just put myself on camera and dead the rumor that I'm Tommy. So I made a video saying, hey, you know, I'm not Tommy, I'm not a troll, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't support him, or whatever. And that's how I ended up making any videos. And then I mm -hmm. planned on never making videos after that. However, then a flood of Tommy's supporters would come to my channel and just troll me all the time. So then I started making response videos. And wow. that's how everything pretty much got started. And that's how I ended up linking up with the rest of these people because at the time they too were against Tommy as well. So we all kind of got together um, against the common enemy, so to speak. Not fair. And like, no, it's odd though. So Monty somewhat turned into a Tommy Sotomayor number two, you feel me, right? Like, like you know. That part. <laughs> Man, listen, now that's right here. Okay, so, okay, here, so, okay, so speaking on YouTube, right, before we even get to Monty, right, so, um, I know you said, like, you made response videos, but did you ever, like, just make, like, regular content, like, outside of those, like, um, response videos? I was, I would say I did, um, here and there, 
but it was mainly around topics based upon like pretty much fighting back against what Tommy was saying, fighting back against, you know, black women being ratchet, hair headed hooligans and um, just talking about how how and why we got to that point of where black women acted the way they acted. It, it was more, you know, basically saying it was more of a response than us being, you know, ratchet and whatnot and how black men needed to step up. Topics pretty much about that, but nothing else really outside of that. It was mainly just responses to people. No, facts, 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 man. Here, so, okay, so then um, when did, okay, so I guess, you know, like you're all formed from a kind of like a gang against Tommy, right? So when did that, you know, gang go well, from just a gang to now it was like you actually you. befriending uh, and being friends with uh, Monty and Kevin Smith? Right. So I would say they, so I wasn't a part of the Wood Green team. However, mm -hmm. I was a huge supporter of the Wood Green team because of their message, you know, their message resonated with me. They were basically making it seem like they were, you know, in support of black women against his message, et cetera, et cetera. So I aligned with them and was a supporter. I would support his uh, Monty's videos. I would support um, his, his um, radio show that he had. I joined wow. the Facebook groups. I joined the Facebook group groups and I um, was supporting them in there. And so we formed this connection and we used to end up talking on the phone I, because I don't, obviously I don't live in Philly and I didn't live in Philly at the time, but I, we, it was like this more like brother sister type of deal um, mm -hmm. because I knew he was married and mm -hmm. I knew that first of all, I don't date married men even still to this day. I don't date people who are involved with anybody. Um, and I still wouldn't. So, you know, we formed this brother sister type of deal. However, um, and this, that's how I met Kevin as well. Ke Monty used to use pretty much Kevin and another guy named Jimmy. He literally would cry on the phone and beg them to mm. be a part of his, uh, to be a part of his roast because people, you know, other people he was scared to roast by himself and he couldn't do it and you know he just he just didn't he just wasn't as funny and wasn't as witty and quick so um that's how they pretty much got more so involved as well and um that's how i, I ended up meeting them but when he began to shift his message and it was more so about like trying to beef with people who he was supposed to be cool with and starting stuff behind the scenes just so he could make some type of beef. And it's funny because I was the one he would talk to on the phone about this stuff before he even went and did it. So I pretty much knew what he was doing. So what I said, what I did was I separated myself from the group and Facebook and he didn't really like that. And we talked about it and I was basically letting him know, like, you know, certain things I can't get down with and some mm -hmm. of the stuff he bought up in that last video. Um, and then I pretty much just kind of slowly disassociated myself with him. I, I used to call him out, but I called him out. So to me, he, he wasn't my best friend, but I thought he was a friend. So I wasn't going to embarrass him online. I called cool. him up on the phone and be like, look, you can't be talking about people, kids and stuff like that. That's not cool. And there's so many things that yeah. I, I, that I can put out there that he's done and said that's so toxic and disgusting. And that's how I ended up just backing up from him. And then he ended up pretty much lying on me. That's how yeah. it, how it happened. Yeah. So I definitely wanted to touch on that. Right. So, but first, um, mm -hmm. like, what was the first, like, I'll say like major conflict to have like, like between let's say Monty's crew and somebody else, that like had you say say you know what bro like maybe th th this is not what I'm trying to be associated with. It was um so I would say the kid um Philly Justice son mm. was definitely one of those things for me. So he would say stuff like, well yeah that, that's that's where it started. So he would yeah. say stuff like, oh Philly just 
um, need to have a handicap sign on his nuts because his kids can't fully develop and grow. Wow. And that his wife had a lot of miscarriages. Wow. And um, that, you know, he would just like go on people's Facebooks and like steal their pictures with them and their kids and call them pedophiles. And, you know, at first I was, he would say that it wasn't him or he didn't do it. And then it ended up being exposed that he pretty much did. And he, he was doing a lot of threatening online. Like he threatened Tommy with a gun one time, flashed the gun, all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. He, I had a phone conversation with him once when Philly just wasn't even a thing at mm -hmm. first when we first started out, but then he came about a little while after and he got, he ended up getting like so much more exposure and traction and, and views and Monty really had a huge problem with that. Like it bugged him so much to the point where he was like, I want him to die. And he wanted him wow. killed. Yeah. He wow. told me he wanted him killed. And I was like, yeah, this is not the lane. And then I, I actually was telling him, I was like, I'm going to pray on this situation because y'all in the same city. And I know how very, I was seeing how very unstable he was getting. And I really thought that at one day they could come to, you know, meeting each other, meeting up with each other because their wives were friends before any of this. And um, things getting ugly. So I, I just kind of backed up from from all of that and that really pissed him off because I can't, I went from being a huge supporter to just p gracefully bowing out. I didn't argue with him. I didn't trip out about it. I just was like, I can't be a part of this and I'm just going back out of it pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Here. So here. So, um, I, okay. So back to Philly just, right. So Philly just mm -hmm. and Monty again. So Monty did pretend as if they were cool. Right. So, when did right. Philly just like come on the scene and um and, and like and like people gravitated like towards him like why to like him roasting people? I don't know. Or I think doing, like, actual content? I th people gravitated more towards him. I think because his content was more entertaining. It was more structured. Uh, he had more to say of substance sometimes, and Monty was kind of all over the place and kind of like making fun of people, which was funny at one time, but he kept like, it was just overkill after a while and it yeah. stopped being funny. And I think he knew that. And then people were dropping off his roster. Like people were yeah. stopped supporting him, leaving his groups. And um, Philly just, just, I don't know. He just had more, they just had more to say. They were Definitely. more, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, Monty has none of that. <laughs> he's, he's never had, in fact, I wasn't even the only one who he outed um, mm. and tried to lie. Well, he didn't lie on them. I will say they did admit that they were sending him nudes. It was a girl named Lovebug and mm. somebody named Tanya Crystal who sent him nudes and he sent it out to all his friends. Monty also had sex with a woman at a hotel and called Kevin on the phone and Kevin was listening to this happen the whole time. Um, and just a lot of other disgusting, you know, perverted, uh toxic stuff and <laughs> so it's right. no it's no surprise to me that that happened but of at course. the same time um it's just disgusting to, but yeah that's that's pretty much who who he is the yeah. one thing that i never understood though is that he had proof and he had pictures and he done outed everybody from twinkie to bone picker to so many other people i could name Yet people believed him about me and he never had one shred of fucking evidence. And even that picture that he just showed, that was a public picture that I took on Halloween. Holy cool. So anyway, yeah. Yeah, like, come on. Hey, right. So listen, right. So when you like just mentioned like him being jealous of Philly Just, right? Listen, like like that right there. See, see, people are um like people have a pattern, right? So so even like now, right? So Monty was really cool with with these two guys called Lennon Honor and Max V, right? So uh, so Monty, yes, right? Yeah. So Monty was doing like the you know like kind of like the anti Umar Johnson content, right? 
Then they came and started doing that to and passed Monty by by far, right? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, right? again, yeah. Lennon is also more articulate, more you know, you can you can listen to him without all the fuckery. So, right. So now Monty is now trying to expose Lennon because now he's a jealous ass Negro, right? And, and now with Max V, right? So Max V and Monty. Never heard. Oh yeah, right. Yes. So my v, yeah, so Max V does kind of like the law stuff plus like uh plus the Umar stuff, right? Very calm guy, oh. chill, you feel me? Mad integrity. So Max V mm -hmm. started doing the uh Umar Johnson live panel, right? Um and, and then during you know, so he so like he like he he like started to like gain traction now and blew mm -hmm. past Monty because now Max wow. V's Right, Max V live stream does about 250 people. Monty live stream does about like 100, 125. Right, so then like Max V had kind of like a week where like he just like look right. So now Monty mm -hmm. said, Oh, oh, Max V's channel is the drama channel. I only drop, I'm like, Bro, bro, like the drama so, bro. channel, man, speak on it. Right, so here, so before we even get into the Philly just situation because that does lead into him lying about you. Um, mm -hmm. Right, so what were other things, like, other than that, you was like, wow, like, like this shit is fucking foul, because I, I do know he, he did um, uh, told, 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 told um, Tommy Sotomayor his father can, like, rest in piss and fuck his dead father, right? Yeah. So, like, he, yeah, so other than that, so like, he, he pretty much was one of the people who outed Tommy. So Tommy was pretty much going around doing whatever he possibly could do and say for a while. And then Monty was one of the people who found his address, sent people on his uh, to his house. Uh, he made um, he used to make Cra Craigslist posts and say basically that people can come and grab, get items or something. And somebody came to his house, to Tommy Sotomayor house. He used to call his daughter, his young daughter, before we before we knew that he had more kids um, and he uh, had domestic violence cases and stuff like that, which is another thing Monty ended up exposing. He used to call the one dark-skinned daughter that he had on his show all the time, Black Bitches. Um, yeah. He also used to make make videos with dildos and whatnot and one of his daughters and he told me this on the phone one of his daughters ended up seeing one of those videos and was crying to him and embarrassed because one of his daughters is was at was going away to college at the time she was a little bit older um embarrassed his whole family did you that didn't stop him at all um and he was it, extremely homophobic, which is why when I saw him doing that um, video talk, trying to hit up the trans person or whatever, I'm just mm -hmm. like, that's interesting because he hated gay people. His wife ended up being exposed for being a lesbian, an ex-lesbian, or well, no, at the time, and, and uh, dealing with uh, women. So um, I didn't find that out until a little bit afterwards, and which explained why he had a deep disdain for gay people. Um, he tried to ended up exposing me as a, a lesbian, which I think everybody who knows me already knows my history with all of that. So that was never any secret. Um, but there was just like, just a lot of things. He, like from exposing people's pictures, putting them out there in a group, mm -hmm. um, making them seem like they were pedophiles and um, mm -hmm. even calling women pedophiles he tried to make it seem like Twinkie was having sex with her daughter uh just a lot of things that I didn't know of and then found out later and then it, you know I, um I addressed it with him and and uh approached him about it and he ended up admitting a lot of it some of it was told to me so just wow. I, as far as I can remember, this was like, this was seven years ago and I'm way older now. So some of the <laughs> no stuff fact. I can remember, I, some of the stuff I can remember and some of the stuff is kind of like cloudy, but yeah. he, 
I, I just remember for for a fact, one of his biggest, biggest things was him being cool with somebody, but behind the scenes trying to figure out how he can create beef with him so he can create content like he did with like this dude named Religious Snitch when he went and got the Gonzo uh, costume and, and all that kind of stuff. And that's that was his thing. It was like, oh, you're cool with me. But at the same time, I need content and I need attention. So I'm going to, you know, figure out a way to try and get you to argue back and forth with me so I can roast you pretty much. He's just, I don't know, low life pretty much. He's definitely a scum of the earth, a definitely a fucking yeah. low life. You know I mean? Do you, you know, know who LA is? Uh, snake, like snake, like snake rock, right? LA. A rock snake? No, LA was, um, he was just, his name was just LA, but he was a main, one of the main people he would go at all the time. And that was another one. He would um, pretty much try to bully. He actually wanted wanted to kill him at one point. I don't know what, wow. what his problem is with killing people, but he yeah. he expressed that on many occasions. He ended up calling L.A.'s wife a crackhead and saying these things about her, but then ended up, um, L.A. was like, well, your wife is fat. And then he's like, you know, threatened death on him. And it was, it, it got pretty serious quite a bit. It was supposed wow. to be this roast thing, but he's so emotional. Uh-huh. That you know he can't help himself. It's like it's like he wants the drama, but when it gets too deep for him, and you know he don't know how to get out the kitchen, he just wants to then you know really fight with people and kill people. So no, no, my facts right here. So okay, so before we get to the Billy Just incident, right? Um, here, so here, so again, I don't want to get too personal. So uh, you oh, go and ahead, whatever. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right. So cool. So uh, okay, cool. So it was you and Kevin Smith who 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 started kind of like like a kind of like a flirtatious type of like online relationship, right? Yep. Yes. Got you. So it wasn't nothing too crazy, uh, to be honest with you. So I've been single for the past ten years. Wow. I have dated. I have dated, but I've still been single. I haven't been in a committed relationship thus far. Um, So I pretty much most of every, most of the thing, first, let me go back. I also live in a very 99, over 94% of the population that I live amongst is white people, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not that I won't date white people. I'm not seeing that white men, Uh, but that's just not a, it wasn't a preference, and B, it wasn't something I found that ended up happening. It just didn't happen for me, whether it was because they didn't approach me or when they did, they were married, and I declined, things like that. So I did a lot of over-the-phone flirting and texting and talking to people um, who were a great deal of distance away from me just for more mental stimulation than anything not anything that i took super duper serious i would go a certain to a certain extent with them and then that was that um so kevin was one of those people who i would flirt with all the time he would always talk about me on videos and on the radio show and blah blah and i then just was like okay i'll show him some attention that's how that came about and things would get a little um, a little dirty sometimes, not nothing too crazy. I sent him some pictures. However, I'm not stupid enough to send my pictures. So I would take the pictures off the internet at the time and it was ended up being somebody else. So while they thought it was me, it actually wasn't me. Mm-hmm. Um, and we would talk here and there and say little things to each other, but nothing too crazy. Um, so it was, it was pretty limited. And then he, t- there was a fake account from Monty Woodgreen that popped up, allegedly a fake account. I don't think it was fake because okay. they all, they had a, they had a history of, um, sharing nudes from other women, calling mm-hmm. you when you're smashing another girl at a hotel, even though you're married, etc. So it's not far fetched that it would be him and Monty sharing my what they thought was my picture back and forth. 
And so when I got wind of that, and this actually happened right when my grandmom had passed away. So I was away for, for a few days and then somebody had sent it to me, told me about it. And I like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I felt like super betrayed about it. And I contacted uh, Kevin who was saying um, that, you know, it didn't happen like that. And, but they were just bullshitting around and, um, you know, it was, that's what men do. And, you know, all the stuff lie on their, on their penises and stuff like that was cool, whatever. And so Kevin ended up, I didn't believe him. So he ended up sending me a picture of him crying, which I sent you the picture of. And then he went to the store and ended up buying me a bag. Uh, and I kept declining and then he kept trying to force it on me. So I was like, okay, well, you know, you want to make up for your BS and lying on me. So I'll take it. And he ended up sending it to me or whatever. And that was pretty much it. I, I didn't even really talk to them after that because everybody yeah. was calling him a simp or whatever. Yeah. Here, so before, yes, before that, right. So, okay, cool. So you and Kevin had kind of like a flirting type of relationship, right? Um, so, um, so did you and Monty also have, have like, the same type of relationship? Never. Never. No. Never. I would never, first of all, yeah. there will ever, never, ever be anybody to come out and say, I dealt with, messed mm -hmm. with, whatever, somebody's married man mm -hmm. or anybody involved with, I don't, I don't play stuff like that. I, I just, for a married person to even approach me or come at me like that, I find it to be disrespectful because who do you think I am that I'm going to deal with you when you got somebody? No, thank you. Um, but so do you want me to get into the story about what actually happened with me nah. and Monty? Well, well not, not. No, well, no. Not yet, right? Yeah, here. So, okay. here, here, cool. So, oh, oh, okay, cool, right? So, fast forward to like when Monty lied. So, uh, Monty, again, Fill me in and on like those blanks, right? So uh, Monty had kind of like a cookout, and then Philly Just Family yeah. was invited, and then and then once the, again, this nigga is so fucking people, bro. Monty is the worst type of Negro, bro. Monty is the Negro who wants to make himself look bigger, bigger than yeah. what he is, right? So his friend came and showed love, put up to his fucking event, show love, dap him up before me, no drama, and then yeah. once he left. Monty has has a cape to him speaking on the um, miscarriage, which, which which again, why would you speak on your man's miscarriages? And then two, um, people said that he spoke on Kevin Kidd's child. So then I'm guessing that you were either there or somebody told you, and then you told Philly Just. So tell us about that. Um... Hmm, that was a little confusing. Okay, yeah. so of uh, some of that is not accurate. I don't know what happened at the cookout. I yeah. was invited to the cookout, but I didn't go to the cookout uh -huh. because I met Monty the day before the cookout and re he revealed a lot of things to me that I didn't like. So the oh, next wow. day I was supposed to go to the cookout and mm -hmm. I decided not to go. Okay. So I don't know anything about what happened at the cookout. I didn't, yeah. I don't remember or recall Philly Justin um, like being there. I just yeah. know that I spoke to Monty on the phone. Okay. And he was telling me about talking to me about uh, Philly Justin's son and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, the, the two yeah, stories right. are yeah. two different ones for me. No, no facts. Okay, cool. So Monty called you and told you about Philly Justin's son. And at what point, after that, did you tell somebody that, and your bro, like Monty just said this about Philly Justin? I didn't. He thought I sent, ah. he thought I sent emails to his wife telling uh -huh. his wife all the nasty things he was doing, the pictures he was sending amongst each other. But he didn't blame me at first. He blamed somebody mm -hmm. named Twinkie at first. Yes. And then Twinkie was telling him, oh, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, blah, 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 blah. So then he thought the only other person could have been me. And that's when he, I, even after we talked about it and everything on the phone, 
he didn't, you know, I told him it wasn't me, blah, blah. And out of the blue, that's when that video that you played came about. Got you. So it, now, wasn't, it wasn't me actually telling anybody anything. He thought I told them this stuff. Cool. Now, let's speak on that video. So, Monty, again, Monty claimed, again, I don't want to get graphic, but this is Monty words. No, right? go ahead. Right? Fine. So, so, Monty claimed to. Again, he somehow picked you up and took you to a fucking alley and donkey <laughs> fucked you. Feel me like a cheap prostitute. Feel me, right? Right. So again, let's say, bro. One. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Let's say. Right. Let's say, yo, bro. One. Again, right. Monty's like like fucking five two. Monty ain't donkey fucked and deep dick and nobody. <laughs> right. Right. Ain't look, bro. Monty ain't donkey fucking nobody. Oh, that God. nigga ain't like a fucking five two. So so speak on that. How do I've you... never seen him even outside of a car, I don't think. Wow. Wow. Mm. So how did you and Monty come to link up, even if that, and um and yeah, speak on those rumors. So like I said, we were cool. Mm -hmm. I at the time I was talking to Monty on the phone, Monty was making it seem like he was a, a upstanding father. Um, he loved his wife. Uh, they had a great relationship. Everything was all fine, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm thinking in my mind. And because I have male friends, my best friend is a male, a Haitian male, who I love to death like a brother. And so I'm okay with having male friends. Um, so I seen no harm in that, even though a lot of people were judging me, like, why would you be friends with a married man? Because I'm a regular, normal person who don't think like everybody else. And I feel like it's OK to have men that are friends unless their wives say otherwise. Then I have to have to respect that and I'm not going to be your friend. However, she allowed her husband to be all over line and doing whatever. So I didn't think it was an issue. And he ended up inviting me to a cookout to meet his wife. Wow. So. So, yeah, so. So I'm thinking all oh, that's good, right? Mm -hmm. He lives in the same neighborhood as my female best friend in Philly, up mm -hmm. northeast. So I was like, me, her and I were going to go to the cookout that he invited me to. But I said, I'm I'm not shy or timid or anything, but I thought it would be weird to meet him in person and everybody else at the same time. Of course. So I said, let's meet the day before. You know, and I go off vibes and shit, too, you know. So I was like, let's meet the day before. And then I'll go over, you know, to the cookout, which you go over your crib, whatever the case may be, and uh, meet the wife and everything. So he's like, all right, yeah, cool. So he, he was only like five minutes away from my best friend. Uh -huh. So he um, he came over and he picked me up. And I think really the only reason why he I think he just wanted to show off his car. Because he was oh, wow. like big on that or whatever at the time. That was like the big thing. So I said, I came out, I talked to him, I sat in his car, we drove around the neighborhood a little bit and we were talking um, for a little while. And I was asking him like, yay, hey, you know, this cookout. So are you going to have like just family there? Are you going to have like your friends? Are they single? Because I'm like, I'm single. So if I go to the cookout and I bring my best friend, we we try and see what's up, like who gonna be there? And he's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna have dudes there, and blah 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 blah, and you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Okay. So I ended up so afterwards he dropped me off, whatever, after we just drove around for a minute and talked. It was kind of weird. Um, and then we get into the front of the in front of my best friend's house again and whatever. We just parted ways. I went in the house and like not even minutes later, I get a text message from him. I do not remember what the text message said, but it was a text message that was really disappointing because he tried to come on to me. Wow. Yes. So that's the first and only time that he has mm -hmm. ever made any type of passes at me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, that's fucked up. You know, like now he made me uncomfortable because I here I'm thinking this is like brother sister type of relationship buddy buddy cool and now you've just come on to me and just made it a weird awkward situation and now I can't even really talk to you like that because mm -hmm. you like and I'm not going to your cookout because what I look like 
going to your cookout, meeting your family and your wife, and then mm -hmm. her looking her in the face, knowing you just try to hit on me. On top yeah. of that, he told he told he ended up saying to me that I, I was talking about, oh God, you know, you you she gonna be like, what the hell are you meeting people offline and whatnot. And um, he was like, yeah, no, we're not going to tell her that. We're going to tell her that I met you a long time ago down where I used to hang out in Philly uh, way back in the day. And I was like, why would we, why would we be lying to her? You know, like yeah. I was so naive because, again, my mind was not there. My mind was that we were cool. Yeah, so why would we be lying to your wife to tell her that you met me somewhere else? Like that shit don't sit well with me. I'm not going there and doing that. Wow. So um, and then come to find out Philly just had exposed later on that his wife, he met his wife online. So yeah. I was like, OK, now that makes sense, because now you meet other women online. She could think that you're still doing the same shit you used to do. So wow. that is wow. what happened. He never. He never touched me. He never came on to me. Nothing. Jesus. So. You see, man, listen, but see, bro, that was some whole ass shit, right? See. Again, even if he was to like come on to you, right? Why even wait uh, until you listen? Like, like why wait to like drop you off? And I, I, I text you, oh my god, I thought you were so beautiful today. That part, <laughs> <laughs> bro. What kind of whole ass fortune? That part, because I was like, I was like, that's some cowardly shit right there. First of all, I like very upfront, strong men who just come right out there from the from the gate. You won't wait, but he's a coward. I mean, can, I mean that's that's been his whole online persona for what? I don't even know how many years now. So. Oh, okay. And do you know who um who Jimmy Magic is? Because he's somebody he's pro you and anti Monty, and he said that Monty did much worse to you, and he wants to speak on that. But um no, I don't know who that is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But speak on um here, so cool. So after that, right? That you no know, mm -hmm. Monty started to accuse you of telling Philly just that right now. How did it go from him now 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 like hitting on you to now him torturing you? Well, that's how it went from there. It was, um, I don't know, maybe I kind of got distant because that's kind of how I handle those type of things. I don't like flat out rejecting men because if anybody knows anything about Philly, uh, you reject men and you could get, you could be killed on any, any given day. So you can be hit with bottles, you can be beat up and I've experienced everything damn near but death. So rejecting men is a process that you have to like smoothly transition into. You can't just, you know, kill the ego. And I've learned that at a very young age. So I, I think my thing was just being distant. I had already distanced myself from the group. So it was kind of like the slowly but surely transition of me distancing myself away from him and being like, not answering my phone as much or not answering text messages as much type of deal. And um, that's when I would say maybe like a little after that, maybe like a week or two or so, um, somebody sent some emails and somebody told Philly just all this stuff. And like I said, he didn't blame me at first. And then he blamed, he blamed somebody else. And then he ended up blaming me and he came out with that video. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. So then after that, um, I know you like spoke on them doing something about your grandmother, like by passing away, like like yeah, a video the dark and so a couple months after, because this was around the summertime when I met him, yeah. and then my grandma passed away in October. So I had I had made videos, response videos back to people and whatnot about the whole Monty situation, and then I pretty much left Facebook, I mean uh, YouTube, and then. I was like, I wasn't, okay, I want to say I left, but I didn't make as many videos as I was making before. And so I kind of fell back. Mm -hmm. And 
Um, then my grandma passed away and I came back and I made a video about it. And I was like, you know, that's why I was gone. And you know how people do when they leave for a while okay. and they come back and they kind of tell you why or whatever, what was going on with them. Yeah. And my team already knew that because I had, they had reached out to me and I had uh, talked to them about it. It was a couple females and um, them or whatever. And yeah, somebody made a video right after that. And they was pretty much in a dark room and they were like, oh, you killed your grandma for insurance money. And wow. this is your grandma. Ask, you know, why did you do that to me? And why did you, you know, just really disgusting stuff. At that time, right? So other than Monty, who had kind of like a deep, a deep vengeance for you? Like, 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 like a, a, a deep rooted hatred for you? Um... I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I don't think anybody had a mm-hmm. deep rooted hate for me at that time. Um, I would I say know. people, yeah, because most of his friends had turned on him at that time. You know, him and Kevin was going back and forth a little bit, and yeah. Jimmy and a few other people. Um, yeah. And then the other people, I just don't feel like they would have done anything like that. Gotcha. Um, so here's. Yeah. So yeah, it was a lot of bullying after that. A lot. Yeah, here, so what I'm getting at is, you know, I, I definitely think Monty put someone up to that, right? But also, too, um, so, yeah, 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 so Jimmy said he, you know him as, as something else, but I do want to make it clear. So whoever comes on, one, um, if Cass has, like, has any problem with you, in the past, you you will get booted like this. Two, um, you will have to email me any questions you have for Cass first. And then three, no Cass slander. If you do any Cass slander, you will get removed and blocked from this channel. Uh, here, so I do have one more question. And then, and then yeah. Jimmy said, 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 said that uh, Monty did do much worse that he do want to speak on. Um, I do want you to stay on though. Uh, so, um, so, so soon after that, right? Was that kind of like the last straw that said, you know what, bro? Like, I'm done with this YouTube shit. I'm gone. Yeah, like- they ran me the fuck off. They ran me completely off with that. I just at that Man. point, I mean, the trolls was already crazy, but at that point, it was like they getting too sick for me. Like that was that was some very low. Very low stuff. And how you doing, was, Cash? I mean, how you wait, doing, wait, wait, Cash? Wait, how you doing, Flock? Wait, 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 wait. Let me just uh hold on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try you know, me and Soul Sister ain't never had no bad blood. Me and that woman there ain't no, never had no bad blood. Wait, 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 you, please, wait, brother, wait, wait, stop, wait, stop. Wait, calm down. Wait, I'm wait. not gonna, I'm not gonna no I just wanna say one thing to you. What he did to her, he did to two other women after her. When every time a woman wanted to leave the group and wouldn't speak to him, he would slander oh, wow. and throw him under the bus. That's what I was trying to tell you all this time, brother. She wasn't the only one. Yeah. That's I, all I'm I was saying. saying. Right? right? And probably... I know she's not lying because he called me and said, um, yeah, man, she soul sister, she ain't taking his calls or nothing. And I heard she's uh she left the group. So that's when he that dumbass went and made the video saying he slept with her in the backseat of his car. I'm saying I was just trying to elaborate on what lie no, he fair, told fair. because she went yeah. her way peacefully and didn't yeah. trash him That's and he couldn't wait to did. trash her. No fact. Yo, here, so here, so I do have a question right for you, right? But listen, right? I wanted to just like introduce you first to the chat, right? From the so 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 a uh, chat. This is Jimmy Magic, right? Um, and he was actually a, a OG member of that whole whole uh, squad, right, my brother? Or uh, were you just yeah. like yeah, we, uh-huh. we started out supposed to be positive against not just Tom, well, not just against Tommy's message, but against bullying on the internet, showing that a smaller group of people could deal with a larger group of people. 
That was what mm -hmm. it started out being. And I ain't going to lie, I got off track and got involved in a bunch Same. of foul I stuff. got off track a little bit. But one little thing, bit. Yeah, but one thing about it, I've talked to her maybe a few times on the phone, but I never tried to holler. She never came at me. I never was involved in that picture exchange stuff. I thought that was cornballish anyway. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Monty would offer to send me. I'm like, I don't want to see none of that shit, man. I think that's lame, man. If I want to watch yep. porn, I can watch the, porn for free. And again, see professionals awesome. get it on. Why do I need awesome. to see? Awesome. Yeah, Everybody. Me and, and her ain't never Everybody. had no, me and this woman, yeah, me and, me and her ain't never, I ain't never roasted her. No facts. And I got it, you're right, I got him fired. I did get him fired. And, and bro should bring me on for another show. I sure did, and I don't regret it. That's what happens when you contact my wife over this YouTube shit. All because wow. we were supposed to meet for a fight. Yeah, this, uh, he um, me and him was supposed to meet on like the twenty eighth or something of September for a fight. Yeah, and he said he accepted the challenge, which people don't know by law. If two men agree to fight, if you break that person's neck or kill him, they can't go to jail because y'all agreed to fight. And he got on video and said it. It was documented. Wow. So this punk all the way up to fight time, started doing stupid stuff to me. So he contacted my wife. On Facebook, where he had one of his minions do it and told private shit that me and him said that I know only he would know. Right. So I said, okay, you want to bring my wife into it? Now I'm going to get your job, nigga. Wow. And I got his, I, and I, I got his hospital job because I knew he didn't have 90 days in. And once they saw the gun video that I sent them, that was it. They said, oh, we ain't taking no risk on him. <laughs> but yeah, me and this woman here, we never, as I started telling you, me and her ain't never had no bad blood. We maybe talked three times on the phone, yeah. and I remember yeah. when I asked her about, I asked her about what this nigga. When is he ever gonna bring in somebody like a Doctor Umar Johnson to the radio show? Right. She said it don't, it ain't gonna happen, is it? Positive, yep. Yeah, me and her ain't never had no hair, but I just wanted to say, oh, she left quietly, and I felt like okay, because I told him I said, well, she gone and she ain't made no video to you. Right. Don't worry about it, because I he never told me that he slept with her. He told me they was friends. He didn't tell me that nothing happened with them until she left. And he did it to another female. And he did it to two other females. When they, Every time a female would leave, mm -hmm. he would find some excuse to trash them. And, and, and even if they went and say they would leave, but they wouldn't talk bad about him, but they would go in somebody else's comment section. I didn't. Yeah. I wouldn't. No. What's their names? Like, My name is Jimmy. She remembered me. Jimmy Cole uh, quit. Yep. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah, but, me, but yeah, but I never, me and her ain't never, me, like I said, me and her ain't never had no issues. I never hit on her. She never hit on me. We had a normal conversation and uh, we was just tripping was off about Monty was wasn't leaving it nowhere. Yeah. But then I ended up, I once I seen it wasn't going nowhere, I just went crazy. <laughs> uh, so, Jimmy, um, I do have a question, right? Go ahead, bro. Oh, wait, so somebody is on speaker and not with headphones because not me. I'm echoing. Is 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 uh here? So here, so like okay, so my question is, right, my brother, is why did you and Monty start to you know um beef? Well, the first time it was because there were people he didn't like, but we didn't have no beef with them that were wood grain members. Mm -hmm. Just because we would shout him out or whatever, he would go off. And wouldn't roast them because he would call Jimmy and Kevin to help roast roast people. Yeah, he would him. call us up literally crying in tears. Literally got to help me. Yeah. Yep. Well, yep. Jimmy's a roaster? Well, okay. Uh, I've man, mentioned man, Jimmy I, like three times the I'm whole time I was talking to you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a scumbag, though, man. Just trust Jimmy me. You ain't going to Kevin like was his number two. His 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 two people that had his back that was like his bulldogs, wow, you know yeah. that he had and he would call to try to help roast people. And he would literally be on the phone crying about it. Wow! He cannot take it. He makes you think he can take it, but he's a lame man. Wait, he can't. His Jimmy. When Bone yeah. Picker, I don't know if you know Bone Picker. Co edit. No. But but when he um. Monty literally tried to pick a fight with him. He tried to use Jeannie Burlesque, which Bone Picker was like her protector. And wow. um, he found Monty's address and told people where he lived at. And he was like this Jamaican dude who was like the scariest person on YouTube for everybody at that time. And mm -hmm. Monty, he outed Monty's address, told him he was going to come and get him 
beat up and killed and this oh. and that. Monty was on video crying, like literally crying, trying to get people. And he was going to take the video to the police and everything to get him locked up. Like Monty is a, <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's a punk for real, for real, in real life. Hey, hey Flacco, we- can, I, can I chime in just for a quick second? I want to speak to sis for a minute and everybody else. Hi, everybody. Um, um, sis, I just want to say <sighs> Monty seems like the toxic male toxicity in a prototype. And let me explain what I'm saying. I mm-hmm. had one conversation with him and he tried to steamroll me in the conversation. He call, he he in, he um emailed me and asked me to call him. And I did. And the second I tried to assert myself to let him know, uh, no, bruh, he hung up in my face and was pissed off. Oh, and I'm yeah. sitting here. Yeah, I'm sitting up here listening to your account with him. And it just really reminds me of just how dangerous it is because you touched on something when you said that, and and, and I and I 100, 100% agree with you when you said that we black women don't have the luxury to reject men. And maybe no. one day we can have a conversation about this, Flacco. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it right now because you guys are in mid conversations talking about his bitch ass. But what I'm saying is like, we're in a position where black women have to tread lightly oh, when a man very who's on that fuck shit. And that's just not just I, a Philly thing, baby. I live in Los Angeles and it's the same thing here. When, when men be on that, bu- on that fuck shit and we don't mm-hmm. want to, we have to back away slowly and gracefully that's in order to save our lives. It's and that's dangerous. That and you don't spoke about that. Absolutely. It's always been dangerous like that for me since I was like 11 years old. So, Thank you. you know, Thank I, I don't you. I don't play around with rejection in men because I've been beaten and battered and bruised physically because of it. Just walking down the street, minding my business. So, you know, right. but it seems like that with Monty and this is what they do. And he's he's no exception to this rule. They will either right. bash you verbally, they'll bash your reputation, right. they'll bash you physically and, because he right. felt that he had an entitlement to you. He felt well, and he and he what he did have is an advantage over me because unfortunately, when you make a claim like that and you call women hoes and say they're you know doing all kinds of stuff, even if they're sitting there, that's why he said in the video. She's not this goody two shoes that she's making herself out to be. He knew my reputation was very important to me. And he knew that trying to crush it in that way was going to hurt me. And although I did play it cool for the camera and I said it didn't bother me, it did even still to this day, because he hasn't been the only one who has ever done that to me and lied and said they had sex with me and they didn't. And um, people, you know, I was labeled a hoe and all kinds of stuff for it. So he knows how that works. And even though he didn't physically put his hands on me, he physically got to me in some way or another. And, right. I've been lied on like this. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Yeah, I've had I felt, I felt like he won. I felt like he won and I didn't want anything to do with YouTube. And that's why I don't even associate myself with soul sister the name none of it none of my friends and family know anything about my youtube channel or anything that has anything to do with it so and 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 flacco i can also shed a light and this this isn't just monty even though he's a little bitch a little fucking beta male short gimp ass looking broke down ass bitch for what he did uh flacco but think about how humble queen did first thing he did was bring a sexual reference because he didn't like me I never sleep with you. And and, and 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 the people on the other side, when they want to degrade a woman, the first thing they do is go to the sexual reference. Yeah. He's disgusting for what he did to you. And I'm sorry you had to go through that, but I understand Thank and you. I know because I've been there before, sis. Um, I wish yeah. you the best. And I'm sorry. Thank you, Flacco, for letting me speak. Thank you. I, pre- I appreciate, I appreciate you too, Flacco. Hey, I want to say one more thing. He did another woman worse than any woman he's ever done on here. And this woman was wow. hollering at this woman was hollering at one of his dudes named Miss London, and she made the mistake of giving this brother pussy pics and videos. Wow. Ooh. And Monty took the shit and put up, he put up her pussy, he put up her plan with herself for this dude, all this shit. Yep. Showed her pussy. Now, mind you, he did she that the time. Way, she went her way. At that time. Yeah. She went her way, and he was mad at her. She didn't roast him or talk about him. She wow. went her way, and she started going over to Mike Mills' chat. Still wasn't trashing Monty. So he went to his friend Kevin, this other guy named Kevin. It's a it's a guy that's mentally slow. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of game he ran on this brother, but he told him some bull, and the brother gave him the photos. I don't know what he was thinking, and Monty put out put out all that on her. And this was between her and her member, but she just left Monty alone because she got tired of him. Didn't now, trash him or is nothing. She, is she a YouTuber, Miss London? Yeah, Miss. She's from over there in England. Um, actually, she ended up apologizing to me before all that because she was the one that sent the message to my wife that he put her up to, and you know. Wow. And, and, oh, yeah, since you've been gone from this sector, it got worse. Yeah, Monty got you mad. Know, I, had to, I roasted Monty. I roasted I his daughter. That nigga had the FBI at my front door knocking at the door. He lied and told the FBI and Homeland Security. And he had her do it because she was overseas and right. say that I was sitting up in my house with a bomb getting ready to kill a bunch of people. See? They come over here ready to blow my head off, man. And and that's, yeah, that's, that's team, another thing. Has stooped so low in this whole. Well, he owed me that because I got his job. Time. He's absolutely disgusting. Like, and you don't even realize how this, like, how traumatizing it can be at the time. Like, I moved on, so to speak, but I've been wanting to come back to YouTube quite a bit, and I've always like this stuff kind of stuck in my mind, and I'm like, yeah, I can't do it because if it ever collided together, I would probably end up having to run away again like no I don't run away this let me tell you something before, we did Marco, this YouTube, before i got on here like my Marco, tissues are right here let me let me break it down to you right now and i'm, I'm finna keep it a buck with you flaco done exposed monty for the beta male booty bandit buck ass bitch that he is don't even worry about that you are welcome you come on here, and if he ever come for you, we got you. There's a whole team of people that know. We see through the bullshit. He used to be on this YouTube street running amok with nobody out clapping back against him. Now he got a whole team of people that exposed him for the fuck shit and the fuck boy that he is. Don't you dare feel like you need to run away. You have an opinion stated. It might be different than how I feel. It don't matter. I'm sorry yeah. to hear that he did you like that. Fuck Monty. Yeah. Also, two says... Uh, yo, you know, you know, yo, like I definitely want you to, you know, again, right, one, you know, in, uh, um, come back feeling empowered, come back feeling no, yo, bro, like, you know, Rocco got my back, uh, Tiff got my back, you feel me? We got your back, right? So we're, bro, like, again, those fuck niggas won't ever fuck with you again, bro. Trust, bro, trust me, yeah, yeah, bro. The dirt that we got on Monty right now, bro. Monty knows to move differently. You feel me, right? So, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right? Oh, 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 hey, brother, uh -huh. Flacco. And What's something up? else that Soul Sister forgot to mention. That's why I kept saying bring me on. Yeah. He basically tried to use her as bait to control Kevin and yeah. try to convince her to best with Kevin because they was going to have this wood grain party. He was mad because yeah. I didn't want to go to the, it was some wood grain party. And he was going to yeah. have the women Everybody sleep with the guys. Sleep, sleep with what? the guys so that he could have control of them. That's what he was trying to use her for. He was, he was basically trying to press her to hook up with Kevin, so that Whoa. you know what I mean. It, 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 was, it was some sick shit. It was soul some sister. Shit. Soul sister was a flirt, but soul sister ain't stupid. <laughs> Everything was locked down over here and still is. I'm stingy. Yeah. stingy. Where was that? Where was that? Was that Florida? He wanted us all to meet up in Florida or Virginia. Wow. Basically, he was trying to hey. set up an orgy. And I'm like, man, I ain't gonna be fucking behind people. I don't I know. I do remember him saying something about that, but I didn't know I was supposed to be involved. Yeah, yeah, because Kevin, remember, because you and Kevin talked, and you said you wasn't gonna do it, and Kevin said he'd rather meet you by himself than anyway. And I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember that, because he was like, man, I'd rather meet her by myself. Oh, I remember. Yeah, man, I'm like, and I ain't going. Hell no. Monty's a sexual deviant. Hell no, I ain't yeah. gonna be laying out half naked yeah. with niggas I don't know. Story. Nigga, my story. Nigga, Anytime you make a dildo videos and your grown daughter come to you crying and begging for you to not do stuff like that and you keep going, like yeah. you are just oh yeah way out. Tommy made the dildo video go viral. He hit me up. He was like, Man, my daughter was oh. crying in college because wow. all yep. her, her boyfriend's friends was watching it and they was laughing yep. at him. And they yeah, knew he hit me up and told me that too. Yeah. And that should have made him stop. Right now, no. for your even daughter. harder after that. Wow. wow. Here, so, here, so, here, so, Jimmy, I, okay, so I do have a question, right? Because you were like, again, Monty's muscle. Right, right? hand, right hand, man. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, right? Okay, yeah. So, so, 
three things, right? Give me a um, what makes Monty vulnerable? Feel me, yo, like, like, uh, like, uh, what's Monty's everything insecurity? And then two, um, what was the exact moment that you and Monty fell off? We always fell off because I didn't do everything the way he wanted it done. Yeah. I was my own man. I did whatever. I'd make a video. He'd be like, why'd you do that? Man, I don't got to explain. Fuck you. I did it because I was pissed off. Yeah. He's a control freak. He's a control yeah. freak. Yeah. Listen, listen to me. Listen, listen to me. I'm going to be honest with you. Once me and Soul Sister talk, and I realized he wasn't going to bring them. Because I was like, look, dude, we could, if you want, we could, why don't you make some phone calls? See if you can get some people from the conscious community. Because they got, what, that bookstore. Yeah. Right there in Philly, where he never tried to do any of that. It was always because Umar Johnson got a bookstore right at Erie. Yeah, I remember we talked about that. Yeah, and I told him I was like Monty. We always roasting. We always roasting. We always trashing people. It's little yeah. bit of talk. Uh, it's like ten percent real talk, ninety percent trashing. It was always we gonna get around to it, but I got to deal with this person. Yep. I got to deal with that. You I'm know. like man, fuck that. It was always an excuse, and it was always some shit. And like I told you. Right before he did what he did to her, he, he told me he was gonna do it. And I'm like, that's she just she went her way. I mean, because wow. remember that was Shanon Fitz is the one that said, Yeah, she moving on, man. Yeah. I didn't want to bring her that. name up, but yeah. yeah. yeah her and I are still are actually still friends to this day. Yep. Yeah. And uh Ooh. he just he Try went and snapped. Yeah, he, we didn't start out that way though. <laughs> well, he put so sister I mean, out there too, man. I mean, that's the so about her as well. He put the wrong thing out there. Said he said he slept with her and put. Yep. He he threatened her and you know, that was oh, another. Good. I'm good. telling you, man. Anybody, oh, anybody that if a female leader group and they don't move like he want, yep. or kiss his ass, you get. And I thought I was doing something by calling them on the phone and trying to be more noble about it because that's how I am. Like I'm. Listen, I'm real. That's why when you say, oh, I don't want to get too, I'm like, listen, I don't care about, like, I never was a yeah. liar. I don't care about what people know. Yeah, yeah so guys, so, so, so guys, listen, right, so, uh, wait, so, um, what is two things. There's somebody called Mr. Nice Guy trying to get a dude, too, right? Like, this is by speaking about to, like, Cass, right? Like, I, like, uh, observe, yo, like, Cass, like, Cass, like, bro, Cass seems, like, mad friendly, um, like not like too hyper, you know, just even kill nice, friendly person. How the fuck do grown men find a like, like, uh, like, like, how do they find like find a way to hate it? Was it just because like Monty was mad that like you wouldn't fuck him? Like, how did it like, like, or, like, or his ego, you, uh, man? I think before you finish that question, fresh. hey, let me tell you how his ego got big though. Mm -hmm. His ego got big because there were women chasing him because they thought he was a semi-celebrity. There was a girl yep. named Cassandra where she had to admit it, where he had messaged with her saying she wanted him to come on her face and how she was going to suck his dick, knowing mm -hmm. that he was married. A lot of women thought oh, he was a celebrity. Speaking That's of sucking penis, I didn't even remember that he said that on the video until I heard it. I was like, oh, uh. yeah. I but was that like, oh, oh, my God, I can't believe he said that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but see, he exposed that girl, and that girl admitted it. She came out on video because she had a video where she was shaking her ass for him and all kind of shit. So naturally, well, I mean, you got women bowing to you, and then you got women that ain't bowing to you. You gonna get an ego. You gonna develop an ego. No fast. Wait, wait. Uh, so, uh, it's <laughs> a nice guy. Hey, hey. Uh, What's up, Yo, we're getting too off track. Let's get I back know. to Monty. I know. I was about to say, because y'all about to take me to a whole nother conversation. Yeah. But Monty is nothing but a byproduct of the toxicity Sis was speaking about. Monty walks around in his male privilege, and he used his mouth to assassinate her character because he know Ooh. that black women are treated like less than in our community. He knew good and goddamn well he was lying, but he wanted to hurt her because he felt entitled to her. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because what people don't realize is every time I spoke out, people were saying, oh, you're mad, uh, you're angry, or your feelings are hurt. They threw that at me a lot because they saw how much, how deeply it kind of like bothered me. So I was shamed for caring. So I felt yeah. like 
I couldn't even really speak too much. And every time I spoke out, it was like, oh, she just feeling some type of way. Oh, she mad. And, oh, she, you know, she emotional and this and that. And I had to keep saying, well, no, I'm not. I'm just speaking out because I can or because I want to. And it's my right to. But people were really trying to like silence me so they can only hear his portion of it. And it was mainly because they wanted the drama. And for me, I was pretty much articulating and showing facts. They didn't care about any of that. And that's how he ended up winning. And that's how he ended up, you know, chasing me away and me never returning or having anything to say and silencing me because it was like, even if I did speak up, people are looking at me like, oh, you just be an emotional woman. And, you know, you just, you know, that you're not being logical. And, you know, and it just, it really, it really like pushed me into a corner. Yeah, here, so, here's, my, here, so uh, here's another question, right, that everyone been wondering, and maybe you can bring more insight into it. Um, mm -hmm. People are saying, one, uh, that Monty's wife was bisexual and eventually, um, and she left Monty. So, so do you have any insight as to why his wife left him or any of that information? <laughs> Well, I didn't know his wife left him. I actually wondered about that today. Yes. But I do know his wife was bisexual. I actually made like two videos about it. Mm. Um, he, his wife ended up very shortly being exposed by, well, I wouldn't say exposed. I, I don't want to make it seem like that. But Philly Just and Quan, which is Philly Just's wife, were cool mm. with the wife. She had a group that she had... Um, it was like a freaky type of group or whatever. Wow. And he found out that his wife was in there, you know, commenting on certain pictures, commenting on men's penises. Wow. Um, and that the wife herself also was a lesbian, somebody named Barb she mm -hmm. was um, dealing with. So, um, and I believe that's what I was saying earlier that I believe that's where his deeply seated hate was against um, mm. gay people because he found out that his wife was indeed uh dealing with women as well and he tried to ended up exposing me for that same thing and i'm like dude wait, that's not news wait so wait so um wait okay so just rewind just a mm -hmm. tad bit so you said monty's wife was exposed as as lesbian because she was messing with uh, another woman or how was it yeah how she was that? messing with other women um on the side and he did end up telling me that she, he you know he did find out that to be true she had, like i said she ended up having a group um on facebook and it was like wow. a freaky group that they all was in um and she was like you know pretty pretty involved in the group and people found out about it so so this man's wife left him for some pussy the part about leaving him for another woman, Whoa, I don't sorry. know. Sorry. That. She, sorry. Yeah. She cheated on him with some pussy. Yeah, she was definitely um, bisexual. So, Monty. According to him and others. Wow. And also, too, there's been, again, I only want to say, say factual shit, but we will get back to her cheating with women. But. There were some rumors that I'm not sure if it was Philly Just's wife that coerced her into the bedroom with her and Philly Just, but there were some rumors that Philly Just did doggy piper. Is that true? <laughs> that I don't know, but I did hear about that at the time. Wow. I believe that it was true because they had a very interesting type of relationship at the time. And everybody seemed to be down with it but Monty. Man. Monty, Monty kind of took the moral ground when it came to that part. He was more like this type of, he was like super conservative about like gay stuff. That's wow. how he appeared or tried to make himself seem. So. Wow. Hey, oh, okay. So, so Philly Just, my brother. So, you listen to Philly Just. If you're watching my brother, just know we <laughs> we we want to have you on. We want to speak that about how funny. you listen, man. How you donkey fucked Monty? <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm trying to hear all this. Listen, listen, your Philly just Hold is up. a smooth nigga, one man. Second. Right, listen, man. Philly just is a smooth nigga, bro. See how he operated, man. 
Monty came for that man's kid. Monty's came for that man's kid. And he said, okay, cool. You too, man. Peace out, man. Love you too, my brother. Peace out, man. So, you listen, man. Yo, Philly Joe is a smooth nigga, man. <laughs> He's a smooth Negro. Y'all got to understand what this nigga did and why that shit was so fly, man. <laughs> Philly Justice's wife was, uh, you know, was, again, I don't, my brother, no disrespect, my brother. I don't know. They're telling me you guys were swingers. Philly Just and his wife were swingers. So, what Philly Just did was some fly shit, was some smooth shit, people. <laughs> After Monty speak, spoke on his kid, after Monty was was uh, har har harassing his man, stalking his man, Philly just got his wife, got his wife to coerce Monty's wife into the bedroom with them. Your Monty wife. <laughs> hey, listen, yo. I thought that type of stuff happened before. All of that, but mm. I don't know. That's cold, my brother. Hey, hey, listen, yo, Philly just is the Negro of the week, man. Wait. <laughs> also, Tudo, everybody been asking, like, what are you sipping on? Oh, ginger ale. Oh, man. <laughs> yo, let's see. <laughs> yo, you fancy, huh? Yo, you, you fancy, huh? <laughs> yo, let's know. I'm like not, I'm just I'm just sipping on a little bit of champagne from last night. You listen, <sighs> man. All. You listen, man. I, I'm worse than you because I put water in my double cup and I sip my water, man. You feel me? So cheers, you know. Cheers to fuck Monty. Wait. Cheers. Uh, uh, somebody said, "Whoa!" He put a gun out on the on the girl because she said she was going to beat his ass. What? No shocker there. Yo, here. So do you okay? So again, right? So Monty said. I, well, have, okay. I remember. I waited uh -huh. an hour and a half after. So let me tell you why I did this. Why I agreed to do this live because uh -huh. after everything happened, and I have a video of all this. Um, I waited an hour and thirty like five minutes for Monty to answer the phone on his Wood Green radio show. Wow. And I pressed one a million times and he never let me on because he knew wow. he was lying because I wanted to confront him. So I never wow. got a chance to even like say, like have a voice pretty much. Um, and I really wish that he would come on the show, which I knew that is not going to happen. But uh, I really wish he would and actually face me like a man and tell me to my face that he did those things to me. The video is about to be some wild shit, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. So, sister, I know that was you behind all this, this bullshit that's going on. I know that was you from a fake account and trying to make it seem like it was other people. All right, well, listen. I already can't clean up my wife. Me and Soul Sister had sex a while back in the summer in the back of my car. I can't claim to my wife recently. Um, we're dealing with it. I'm in a doghouse still, but, you know, I fucked up. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have did it. I've done it. She, you know, you should have kept your mouth shut. You're running your mouth telling people. We met up. We talked in the car. It got dark. We got in the back seat. We had sex. You know what I'm saying? Um, it wasn't even worth me cheating on my wife. Pussy wasn't even that good. The head was good. I ain't going to lie. She let me come in her mouth. I would I would love for that to happen, but I know it won't. But um, I'm glad I was able to speak and say Monty my. Monty is a coward. Yo, right? Oh, I know. 